Hey guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has officially released iOS 13.4.5 Developer Beta 1. And now you may be asking yourself, Apple completely jumped four numbers all the way to 13.4.5. Where's 13.4.1, 2, 3, 4? And there's only one explanation that makes sense, and I'll go over some of the details of this software, things that could be coming with this software, fixes, improvements, as well as the reason why Apple might have done this here on the latest beta. Now, if you have an iPad, this is also available for you. So those that have the iPad and are running the developer beta, it is available for you right now. There it is, 13.4.5 is available for iPad users as well. So you can download that for your iPad. And there's been a few issues that Apple needs to address with iOS 13.4 that hopefully 13.4.5 will address and new features that could be coming as well. So first, let's talk about some of the fixes that Apple needs to implement on this latest software. Now, if you go to download this software as a developer, you'll see four gigs. And as I always say, this is not taking away four gigs from your device. It's only overriding the entire OS. If you're running the latest 13.4, 13.4.5 will override the entire OS. So as of physical changes as of right now, I haven't had enough time to dig and see if there's any new changes, but I do know that Apple is looking to address a few things. Number one is hotspot issues. Some users on iOS 13.4 having issues sharing their hotspot spot connection so Apple could very well be fixing this issue where users are unable to share their Wi-Fi hotspots with other devices. Now, there's also a known issue with Bluetooth. I also ask on my YouTube community poll if you were having issues with Bluetooth. I personally have been having issues with Bluetooth where my AirPods would disconnect randomly and also the volume will go up and down on external speakers randomly using Bluetooth on the latest 13.4. Now, recently, there's been a VPN vulnerability discovered on 13.4 as well. So if you use VPN, this could also be addressing that issue on the latest beta. I have to do a lot of testing of course you guys already know you can anticipate my follow up here in the next couple of days i'll be doing some more digging around the software and last but not least hopefully this 13.4.5 will bring the os recovery feature which i talked about in previous videos and i was hoping for apple to bring this with ios 13.4.1 or beyond and now the reason why apple will most likely be releasing 13.4.5 beta 1 now and then releasing other softwares as this one progresses. So let me explain myself. 13.4 as of right now is the latest public release. If Apple releases 13.4.5 as a beta right now, this gives them time to work through all the beta process, maybe four, maybe five betas before releasing this software. And in between, they can release smaller software updates. So for the public, that is. So 13.4.1 could be released sometime maybe next week to address maybe Bluetooth issues, 13.4.2, the following to address the VPN issues and so forth until they reach 13.4. 4.4 and then by the time they reach that then they'll have enough time to release everything as a full bundle with 13.4.5 including hopefully some new features to come as well remember 13.4 or ios 13 could be the last software on some devices before we move over to ios 14 so that could be the reason why apple is doing this right now with ios 13.4.5 but nonetheless i'll be digging around the software if i find any additional new features and changes within the next 24 to 48 hours of course i'll be bringing the follow-up for you guys i'll test the battery do everything that i usually do stay tuned here to the channel for more updates thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you real soon peace